What's up guys, it's Brian here. Today I'm bringing you guys another custom clone tutorial. You guys seem to really like these. I did one with Cody and I did one with Rex. And Commander Wolf is one of the most highly requested commanders that I do a tutorial of. So I'm going to be showing you guys today how you can make your own custom Commander Wolf using mostly official Lego parts you can get from Bricklick in addition to like the Clone Army Customs helmet. So without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So as many of you probably know, LEGO did make one official version of Commander Wolf as a young clone trooper. They made the old version of Wolf, but if you want to make the young version of Wolf, they did make one version, which was the Phase 1 version, and this is and this is a very expensive figure. It, it will go for as low as $30, but it quickly gets into the upwards of uh, like $70, 80 $100 on BrickLink, this figure does. So I do not recommend going that route, obviously, and we're actually not even going to use any parts from this figure to make this um, custom clone. Um, you can get one from Clone Army Customs. It is coming back in stock soon, I think. Um, it's $30. If you have that kind of money, go for it, but this is for the people who are really on budgets and don't want to uh, spend a lot of money on clones. Uh, Minifigs for You also has a good version. His is $30 as well, but... I used these two designs and then tried to think of what Lego pieces could actually work to make a wolf that looks pretty good and could definitely work well for your clone army. So the first thing that you need is from Clone Army Customs and it's the helmet. This is uh, the, pretty much the baseline of all my tutorials is you, you pretty much need to buy the custom helmet. It's $4 if you want to get the rangefinder, it is an extra dollar, so $5 for the wolf helmet is the um, best start in order to make your custom wolf look very good. Another thing I'm gonna touch on very quickly is the head. Now, if you do wanna get the official wolf head from BrickLink, he's pretty expensive too. He goes for between six and $10. However, I would recommend just getting like a regular old clone, uh, clone head, paint or Sharpie one eye white and draw a little scar down it. You can't really go wrong with that. I mean, it's a scar. You can pretty much just draw that on yourself. And plus it's the underneath the head. So I wouldn't recommend going this route. I would recommend making a custom wolf head using uh, like a Sharpie or paint or something like that. That's not that hard of a custom to make. Now, as far as the torso is concerned, this is the torso from that Rex figure. And he, is, this torso is very expensive and not that hard to come by. I mean, hard to come by on BrickLink. He's not that easy to come by, I meant to say. He goes for, for between like, there is a listing on him for $5 right now for this, for this torso but they go upwards into, into the $20, and we don't want that. So, what you can do, the only really thing that's exclusive about this torso is the printing that's like on the upper chest area and the blue on his back. However, if you want to make this look good still, you can just get a plain clone torso. These go for less than a dollar on BrickLink. You can find them for under a dollar. And then find any torso with sand blue arms and just swap out the arms. So here's like some listings on Brooklyn. You can just like look look up sand blue arms. You can put it in quotes and then go down this list and try to find a, a good cheap um, torso with arms that you can just take the arms off and put onto your uh, onto the clone torso. So that way you have a very good um, torso. You have the the clone torso with the sand blue arms. I just realized I'm wearing like a sand blue uh, shirt right now, so fitting for this tutorial, I suppose. So that is what you would do for the torso. Now the legs, on the other hand, can get a little bit trickier because if you want to do this the cheap way, you're not going to get some great detail on those legs. They're, these are the official wolf legs from the. Uh, this is actually from. This is from the Wolf Pack Clone Trooper. I think it might also be from the Commander Wolf figure itself. These are expensive. These can go for upwards of twenty bucks on Bricklink. So I don't recommend going this route. And you might be sacrificing a little bit of detail with this tutorial. However, you could just get some plain old Sam Blue legs. I think that would be able to pass off pretty well. If you want to get some plain white legs and paint on them or draw on them the wolf pack pattern, you could do that, but this might be your easiest bet. These are less than a quarter on brick length, these sand blue hips and legs, if you want to get those. The other thing you definitely need is a waist cape. So if you want to get the cloth one, those are on brick link as well. Or if you want to get the, the hard plastic one, those are less than a dollar on brick link um, as well. Now, I don't believe that Commander Wolf has a backpack. I'm not entirely familiar with his with his design. I'm looking up some images of him right now. I don't see the backpack on him. However, if any of you are more familiar with a good backpack that you could use for Wolf, leave it down in the comments as an idea because I, I don't think that he has one. You gotta correct me if I'm wrong there and then tell us a good method down below. But I think this is a pretty decent way to get a decent looking Commander Wolf, as long as you've got the helmet, which is the main, main part 
um, the sand blue arms, he just has a plain white torso pretty much, and then the sand blue legs and that uh, waist cape. It would look a little minimalistic, obviously it wouldn't have all of his wolf pack detailing on his legs, but I think it would do the job pretty well. I actually don't have a commander wolf in my collection besides the old man wolf, so I don't know what this would look like in person, but um, I'll try to like Photoshop something together right here if, if, it's, if it's on the screen for you. But that is going to just about do it for this uh, Commander Wolf tutorial. If you do follow this tutorial and actually get these parts, let me know down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think of this method. I think this could be a good little addition to your clone army, and honestly, I might try it at some point to get a Commander Wolf myself. So that's going to just about do it. Leave this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. If you have better methods, let me know and let all the other commenters down below know. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks guys for watching. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out, guys. Thank you.